Look at the paintings and I'll tell you what they're all about. Okay, let's take a little tour. little mystery tour. <laughs> All right, I'll explain. We'll just start here. If you gather here, I'll explain these to you. So these are a, this is a rare example of an abstract work. Uh, I call it On My Home Planet. And I wanted to get a sort of yin-yang thing where the background and the foreground have sort of equal strength. And these are sort of like nerve cells living inside the planet. And this was done, uh, some guy paid me to write a story to go with a story, a book of photos that was about a petawatt laser in Texas. And so uh, I naturally thought of a guy wearing shades and, and putting a fetus in the way of the laser. So it's not exactly a fetus. It's more like a bean. Now, this is a painting I did. Uh, it's called Endless Road Trip. What I often do is I, uh, when I'm working on a novel, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I'll do a painting of what's coming up. And it's sort of using the other part of my brain. And this painting was based on, there was a photo I found on the web of a, a capybara and some spider monkeys. And it's a very odd, it's a cool photo. And that was all the things I've ever tweeted. That photo got the most retweets. It was retweeted like 100,000 times. You know, and, and I just got it from somebody else. There's something cute about that thing. So then I have these two aliens here. They're called Sape. And that's the car that's going to drive 100 million miles. And my characters are going to connect with these two, and uh, they're going to drive really far. They have a flat world, so, so you don't have to stop. You never hit the ocean. Now this, uh, over here on the top, that's, uh, that's bathers with UFO. So these are, uh, well, these are some naked Californians. <laughs> and I was going to put the UFO in the background, but then I screwed up the perspective, so it actually turns up that the UFO is right even with them. So then I just have the guy holding it like a, a really large frisbee, and there's little creatures falling out. This is a spot on the beach that's uh, just south of Davenport. There's a really cool rock in the ocean there. That one under it, that's a guy who lives in a, a sequoia tree. He made a deal with the National Security Agency. They, they let him live in the tree if, if he gave them something they wanted. And that's a jellyfish coming to uh, bring him a message from China. This is the start of a story that I'm working on with Bruce Serling. But Bruce has dropped out of sight. <laughs> He's supposed to explain what's going on here, but he hasn't done that. Now, I love painting UFOs. I've been doing UFOs all my life. And this one's called Deep Space Saucers. There's this quality of far deep in space. There's these gorgeous M&M colored UFOs. They look like candy. Now, this was uh, maybe one of my less good pictures. Uh, well, that's, for me. that's not for me to say. <laughs> so what I did in this one, I did, uh, I did an underpainting of just random blobs with acrylic paint. And then I put a, a thin wash of white acrylic over it to sort of cover up the blobs. And then I switched to oil to get a nice texture, and I drew three shapes that I like. And there's the UFO with an eye. And that's my dog, Arf. He's not around anymore. And then that's, that thing is called a gub. In my novel, uh, The Big Aha, there's gubs in there. Now, this one here is called Hungry Bird. This, uh, I started this just doing a Mondrian kind of thing with squares. And then I saw the picture of this, this crazy bird in the newspaper. They were cutting down a tree in Berkeley. This is a crested night heron. And that was a chick, and it was squawking in a very displeased way. And then I thought, that'd be cool to put this, because just the Mondrian, that's not very interesting. So then I, I whited to sum it out, and I put the bird over that. I, I really like the way the bird came out. That, that one there is called Cells. I did that the day before this show. I wanted to have one more painting. <laughs> Maybe that's enough information about that one. It's kind of looking for a fractal effect. This one's called uh, Petroglyph Man. This has to do with a, uh, a trip I took, Sylvie and I took to Hawaii. And there are these petroglyphs on the, this rock we were looking at. And it's supposed to be bad to step on the petroglyphs. You know, you're going to annoy the spirits. 
So in my story, this guy does it, and then the petroglyph shows up at his hotel room. So you can see the sort of three phases of the petroglyph. It's just abstract, then it's three-dimensional, and then it's like a little man. This, uh, I wrote a science fiction story based on that, uh, and that the story is called Petroglyph Man. It's actually in Asimov's magazine this month. And I got Sheila Williams to use this as an illustration for the story, but she made me Photoshop it so the guy's penis doesn't show. Uh, there's a, then again, like I say, I'm continually thinking about flying saucers. And I'm not a true believer in saucers. I'm more like a sarcastic saucer believer. And uh, that's, that's something I want to have in this novel I'm working on, Saucer Hall. It's this place where the saucers gather and make these jumps. And then under it, there was a show, uh, there was a show at the, there was a show in the park at that, that big museum there. Uh, Jesus, what's it called? Uh, what's that artist? Keith Haring. Yeah, a Keith Haring show. Yeah. And so I really liked, Keith Haring did a lot of saucers and had, he had this cool way of drawing people. So I decided to do a Keith Haring style painting. And uh, notice some of them, their eyes are open because the saucers sent rays down to them. And some of them, uh, their eyes are closed. So then I thought of the, the old gospel song, uh, I once was blind, but now I see. So that's the title of that one. And then uh, that one over there is, uh, this is again from this novel I'm working on. We've got, uh, there's the UFO called Nunu. And then there's this other more amorphous kind of blob. And uh, in front, there's the lovers. That's Vili and Zoe. And in the back, that's Zoe's brother, Scud. And I've been, I wanted this to be a, a young adult book, and I've been wrestling with myself about whether it will be okay for Scud to have sex with, with the saucer, Nunu. And uh, I decided, why not? And then the saucer's going to lay eggs. <laughs> you know, I'm interested to see what will come out. <laughs> so and these are the last three I'm going to tell you about. And that's me writing in 1984 and uh, I have a, a kind of a memoir book called All the Visions I wrote it all on a, a one sheet of paper and that's, uh, that's Buddha and the mouse that's just a combination I like I saw a picture of the paint, a statue that had a nice shadow and then that one up there that's, uh, that's the tree of life and that's some more aliens that are budding off a big tree I did the tree part with finger painting. It hurt my fingers a lot. Uh, next time I'll wear gloves. And uh, anyway, so that's about it. So uh, enjoy the show. Buy some books. Buy some prints. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>